Hello everyone, this is Nitpicky Nerd and I just watched the first episode of season 2 of Lord X and unfortunately, in my opinion, it's a below average episode. It's not as good as many of the episodes in season 1 were because it kind of lacked an interesting story and the Mariner is still as annoying as she was uh, in the beginning. She's one of the weakest parts of the show in my opinion and uh, she gets way too much uh, screen time and it's more annoying than funny and the story itself is kind of weak the only things i still love about the show is the fact that it has correct attention to detail it looks like it's set in my favorite era of uh, star trek which is tng and deep space 9 era i love all the little references to all the other star trek shows all of that is fine and i enjoy that but other than that the story in this episode isn't really that interesting or funny and I think if they simply did a new Star Trek or a new science fiction story without trying to be funny every second, it would have been more enjoyable for me, I think, if it was written cleverly. And yet uh, there's nothing really clever in this episode. And it kind of became too silly in some parts of the episode, mainly that whole part with uh, the first officer getting superpowers and becoming a, a god, basically. And they referenced it to Gary Mitchell which is a nice reference, but you know, Gary Mitchell never became that powerful. He did get uh, psychic powers, but he did not become a literal god. And yet in this episode, in a few seconds of being exposed to some strange energy, suddenly he becomes totally godlike, and I don't think it's believable in the slightest. And you know, even in TOS, whenever they did those silly things with, you know, floating hands, grabbing the ship, or floating heads, or all that kind of stuff, I never really liked that. I always uh, thought that was kind of a bit too much. I much prefer the TNG version of all kinds of entities, which were always kind of an energy cloud or stuff like that, which kind of is a little less silly and so more believable. And uh, in TOS, they kind of went too silly a lot of times, and I never really liked that. I guess in TNG, there were a few places when uh, they also did that. With uh, There was some floating head entity in one episode, and the Q, of course. Uh, and you know, the Q was uh, at least an alien, you know, it's not as if he's a human who suddenly got superpowers and became godlike, and so also it's more believable. If it's a human who just becomes a mutant, I think uh, the abilities should be more limited. And, you know, Gary Mitchell was not all-powerful completely, and so it wasn't as over the top as what they did in this episode. And also it didn't happen in just a few seconds, like it took him some time to develop uh, his new powers and all of that. He took an entire episode, and yet here they do it in five seconds. Like he's exposed to an energy and he immediately becomes a god. That's not believable, that's not how, you know, mutation works and all of that. So it was too silly for my taste, and not funny either, so it's not worth it. If it was used for some very clever joke, then I would say fine, I'm uh, okay with that because it's worth it for the comedy, but it's not really that funny either. I guess there was some, uh, I did like the part when he was uh, training his biceps even when he was a god, because they did kind of set it uh, up that he is obsessed with uh, how he looks and all of that, so it kind of fit that. So I'm not saying it was all bad, but it was kind of all done too rushed, and there was no actual story to any of it, it was just done for the sake of uh, all this action and jokes, and uh, it was kind of uh, all over the place too much. And there was no real story to it, and the most annoying part is uh, how it all ends when Mariner just kicks him in the balls. And so she's more powerful than a godlike entity that no one can stop, she can stop it. So she's more powerful than uh, this god being. And so this is ridiculous, this is the same kind of Mary Sue BS that I complained about previously. So no one else can do anything, but she can solve the problem all by herself. So this is not funny, this is not interesting. And because of uh, that trait of her being able to solve any problem, then we never feel that she's in any sort of danger. At least in the first scene when she escapes the Cardassians, at least it's all in a holodeck. So that makes it more believable because I assume maybe the settings of the holodeck were set on easy. And so that's why it was so easy for her to escape the Cardassian prison. So I guess that was fine. And uh, at least in that scene, I enjoyed the fact that they are paying homage to previous Star Trek shows, uh, namely in uh, TNG and Deep Space Nine, all the aesthetic of the Cardassian place looks like uh, Deep Space Nine, and uh, that interrogation room looks like the one in TNG, and we see some Jem'Hadar ships, and we see some uh, old ship uh, that uh, is uh, named Macduff, which I think is a reference to that TNG episode, when there was uh, an alien pretending to be an officer, and so maybe it's kind of a reference to all of this not being real. And so I'm fine with the occasional scene like that in set in a holodeck in which they can just do crazy stuff without any consequences. But wouldn't the show be more interesting 
if they had scenes like that taking place in reality in which it would be more difficult with actual stakes with actual difficulty and with some actual story wouldn't it be more interesting than just have a bunch of scenes which are not connected uh, just for the sake of uh, all the references and all the jokes and all of that but without any actual meaning to any of this and so i think the show would have been better if they invested in an actual story and you know i had a similar complaint i made a whole video about tng versus tos specifically about the holodeck topic the fact that uh, tng had holodecks and tos didn't and because of that tos had to do all those uh, strange episodes in which they actually go into the past or to some strange planet which is like the past and all the stories were actually taking place in reality and so they had actual consequences and all of that and yet in tng they often had episodes that were set entirely in the holodeck and the only consequence was that they were locked in the holodeck and so they were in actual danger supposedly and uh, that's it but uh, it didn't really have any consequences to any planet or to the timeline or whatever and so it was kind of less interesting overall I did love the holodeck when it was used for comedy like in that Barkley episode Holo Pursuits and it was part of the main story and so it wasn't just done just for a joke even though TNG often also used the holodeck for just one silly scene and then they move on to the actual plot of the episode so I guess it's the same as what they did here but again I say maybe the holodeck should have just been kept for all the comedy scenes once in a while or a comedy episode once in a while but uh, if you set entire episodes in the holodeck without any actual consequences maybe it's less interesting than if you actually set it on some strange planet or in the past or whatever and uh, I made a whole long video just about this topic comparing various episodes of TNG and TOS and I said that TOS was kind of more interesting because they had to do it in the reality of the show and uh, it did result in some silly episodes but if you look at it as a comedy that makes it okay and because it had actual stakes, actual consequences for whole civilizations or for the whole timeline I think it kind of made it more interesting overall so I don't mind the occasional holodeck episode or a holodeck scene but I think in this show they kind of do it too much and they do it too silly and uh, there is no sense of danger they don't even uh, use that gimmick of uh, the safety is being off so the safety seems to be fine and uh, it's just all too easy and it's not that interesting to watch an action scene when you know exactly what's going to happen and it's not exciting when no one is in real danger there are no consequences to anything you can just exit it and that's it so if it's done for some good visuals or some uh, funny lines that's fine but uh, they kind of do it too much on the show so i would rather if they invested in an actual science fiction story something new something fresh something we didn't see before then the show would be much more enjoyable and so far in this uh, episode i didn't really see anything that interesting and the whole part when uh, she's cleaning the old buildings and it accidentally exposes a building to sunlight and it activates those energies it kind of reminds me of a scene in X-Men Apocalypse when someone exposed an old building to sunlight and then it also created those uh, yellow lines so maybe it was a reference to that but uh, it kind of became way too silly too quickly not believable in the slightest and I guess in a cartoon you can and should do more silly stuff than in the actual shows because in cartoon form it looks less ridiculous but in this case it was kind of too ridiculous anyway despite being a cartoon so I didn't really like that so I would rank this episode below average, not really interesting, not really that funny, Mariner being too annoying, her mother also being too annoying, and even Tandy, who I kind of liked, was also annoying in this episode, becoming all crazy and chasing uh, Jordi La Forgery around. Kind of too silly, makes all the characters look like uh, either idiots or uh, crazy people, and not funny enough to be worth it, and so that's why I think this episode is not that good hopefully the rest of the season will improve because I did like uh, the first season quite a lot in many episodes I thought it was very enjoyable even though frankly I don't really remember much from it which also says something I guess there was no real interesting stories to think about after we've watched it and so I kind of forgot most of season one except some parts which were memorable but not really anything amazing and so I still think I would much prefer if the show was a little bit more serious with actual storytelling with actual stories and not just silly jokes and references every second but hopefully the show will improve hopefully it will become better at least it does look like it should at least it looks like it's set in a Star Trek show and it has uh, all the correct details of all the ships and everything so I do enjoy it for that 
So that's really all I had to say about it for today. Let me know what you think and we can discuss it in the comments below. And I will see you all next time. Bye bye.